Racing Post Arkle, the best of the best of the two mile novice chase division. The second race of the Cheltenham Festival and the first chase of the day. Horses and jockeys fueled by adrenaline, jostling for position as we walk into the start. This is it. The Racing Post Arkle start. You can hear the Cheltenham roar when the tape flies up and they're off. For the Racing Post Arkle Challenge Trophy, great. The first stents come thick and fast. You've got to get your position and think tactics straight away. You can't win your race here, but you can lose it. Mashallah made a bad mistake at the first. They jumped the first and a better jump from Petit Mouchoir. Ducard and Alpha off the grey towards the outside of the first two. Sprinter Sacra settled in third position as they go over the first of the 13 fences. There's such a short run between the first and second fence. You've barely got time to breathe. It's so vital to get into a nice early rhythm. Overturn, leads by a couple of lengths or so, but uh, Simon Sieg is very keen in the early stages. You've got a bit more time before you reach the third. Jump it well and it sets you up for the fence in front of the grandstands. It pays to keep a cool head. Yeah, Rock on Ruby has almost gone a fantastic recovery there by Noel Feely. The fourth fence is in front of a packed grandstand of 65,000. All eyes on you, but don't get distracted. There's still a lot of racing to be done. Glenn Forster in green and maroon colours is out of the race. Dunraven Storm is alongside under so and touches down with a narrow advantage. Duvan now in the pink jacket is just about in front as they swing left-handed. Goes on by only a half length to Sizing John with the red cap in second place as they run to five. Altior with head bowed makes ground on the outside to take second. Ordinary World is in third, some plan in fourth. Away from the grandstand now, the race has settled down and hopefully you've found good rhythm. But be aware, there's dangers lurking. Third and fourth place is Articulum behind these and Ornua's down and has brought down Kadastikov. It's important to judge the pace of a race perfectly. Don't get sucked in, ride your own race. On now towards the water jump. And Putty Mouchoir and San Calvados stride for stride going into that one. Footpad is a good 10, 12 lengths behind them and was rather big at the water there. Now on to an open ditch. The first open ditch comes relatively late on in the race in post Arkle, but get this one right and it can be the most glorious sight. Arvika Legionnaire jumped that beautifully for Ruby Walsh on the outside, unlike Majala. At this stage, Simon Sig is right between horses in third spot, followed by Bailey Green as they get ready for the last fence on this part of the course. And Simon Sig hit that hard. We're approaching the business end of the race, and the fourth last is the open ditch. Momentum is key. If you miss it, then it's an uphill struggle. But fly it, and winning becomes a realistic dream. Fence number 10, the fourth from home in the Arthur. As the big three huck up as they go towards the final open ditch, and it was Alvaroff who stood a mile off it. He almost banked the fence. He was comprehensively outjumped by Sprinter Sacra around the outside. Pace in overdrive now as the runners hurtle downhill towards the third last fence. Wing this, and the final push for glory awaits. Third last in the Arkle. Overturn in tight, hit it hard. Under so, steadied at it by Ruby Walsh, another beautiful leap. The third last, big and bold, Sprinter Sacra led by five lengths. Three out, Petit Mouchoir over, a little nod on landing. Footpad increasingly getting on terms, but they're heading to the home turn. Everybody's at work, but not Ruby Walsh at the moment on Duvan, but they're laying it down to him now. The Simon Sig now takes over for the first time, coming down the hill. Two more fences to take, and Altior now begins to loom up on the outside of Charbel as they swing for home in the Arkle. Charbel is digging in for the fight. Altior now goes through the gears. And Footpad takes over. From Putty Mouchoir, looks like Ruby Walsh has judged this absolutely perfect over two out. He came up out of his hands there. But he said to De Genera for the winning line, now opens up by four lengths. Racing down towards the final fence, Sprinter Sacra comes to it now. A spectacular leap. In second place was Q Card. He's got three lengths to find and racing inside the final half furlong. Sprinter Sacra, a perfect four out of four over fences. With disdain, he wins the Arkle and gives Nicky Henderson his 40th winner at the Cheltenham Festival. Simon Sig has got to pull out a bit more here. Bailey Green, a big threat on the near side. Barry Garrity getting serious on Simon Sig, who's really driven out but will collect the racing post Arkle. Here's the final fence now. Champagne Fever in second place, Trifolium and Western Warhorse. A remarkable run, having hit a flat spot at the top of the hill. He is rallying 
manfully towards the near side. Champagne fever though, digs, racing the line. Champagne fever and Western Wars, Western Wars may have nicked him. Up the hill they go, under so is the leader in the arc as they race inside the final furlong. He's clear by five or six lengths, and it's going to be two out of two at the festival for Mullins and Walsh. Under so makes every yard. And it's Duvan and Ruby Walsh head up to the straight to the winning line in the racing post arc and wins. And Algior is left in front. He jumps the last clear by two lengths to Cloudy Dream in second. Audrey World is back in third. A long break to the rest. They're simply playing for places. It is Al your last year's supreme winner is going to give Dickie Anderson a sixth win in the article, and it is Aldior who wins. Brilliant jump over the last foot pad by five, six lengths to pity Mouchoir and brain power racing up the hill. A one or two early mistakes, much better in the closing stages. Foot sure, foot perfect at the last, and a sparkling win in the arcle for Footpad and Ruby Walsh. Duke de Ginevra, final fence, jumped in brilliantly, landed 10 lengths ahead, races as he comes up the line now. Second position, Clondor cast the last on them, Articulum behind those. It's a great race for the places, but it was an easy victory. Duke de Ginevra for Willie Mullins, and Paul Tynan has won the racing post arcle.